Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am okay, thank you. Today is another installment in Weekly Product Pan. This is where we randomly select one, or in my case, two items from our collection and work on them throughout the week. This was created by Becky over at Becky Loves Kanga. I will have Becky's link down below so you can go check her out. There's a lot of people who do weekly product pan or a variation of weekly product pan like shop my stash, use the makeup, that kind of thing. And so, you know, this is this is a big a big thing because it's a way for us to put our hands on products that may get pushed to the back, you know, and not worked on like, or used like some of our other products, our products that we like, or products that we are, are in Project Pans. So this is a way to play with it. So last week I drew two, I, this is the, this was my second week drawing two items. If I draw an eyeshadow, then I pick something else to work on because I don't want two eyeshadows. So the first one I drew was Havoc by Makeup Geek. It is what I have on my lid today, mostly in the center of my lid. But that is it right there. It is just a beautiful eyeshadow. It performs beautifully. It, it's just a lovely shade and I like it. I like it with my eyes. I think it looks really, really nice with my blue eyes. And so I have enjoyed Havoc. I only played with it once, but once was good because I have enjoyed it immensely. And then my other one I drew was a blush and it was from my Lovecraft um, Beauty blush palette and oh I almost dropped it and I drew the shade Dauphine. Now Dauphine is this beautiful nude shade and I am interested in nude shades because they look so good on other people but what I learned this week is I'm not sure it looks good on me. Now I wore it more than once. I Unlike Havoc, I had the opportunity to wear it in a couple of looks, and I like it. Sort of. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know what it is about it that I'm struggling with. Maybe it's because it, it's not a really bold cheek, and I really like a a brighter cheek, so maybe that's what it is. Um, I think it's something I need to play with more to um, really get to know and see if see if I like it. That new, not Dauphine itself, but that nude blush look because I I think it's gorgeous on other people. It's just me I'm not sure about. So those items I used last week even though I used Havoc just once um, I'm going to roll it out and draw two new items. I have everything in my randomizer list and of course it doesn't show so I'm just gonna hit randomize. Wow okay we did not get an eyeshadow this week. Let me go pull these two items that we will be using and I will be right back. I'm kind of excited. Okay, I'm more than kind of excited. All right. I'm excited. The, one of these items I have had for quite a while and I forgot that I had added um, foundations and primers and setting sprays and all of that into my weekly product pans list. I don't usually have it in there and I usually, you know, if I put it in, I usually end up removing it, but I have a primer this week. I am excited. I picked this up a while ago at TJ Maxx and it is the Kaja Blur Drop Weightless Water Primer. 
I never use this. I am excited to try this and see what all the excitement is about. Okay, so I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, so it comes out really, um, really like a water. It's like I just poured water on my hand. That's really what it feels like. But then as it dries down, it kind of feels powdery. So that's, that's cool. And it has kind of like a cucumber smell. Very slight though. So I'm excited to use that primer throughout this next week. Then I drew a blush. Here, last week I had this nude blush that I was way excited to use um, to try out in the nude blush look. And this week I drew a blush that will be seen in the dark. And that is Wet n Wild's um, Baked Blush in Dare to Soar. This is a beautiful blush. I have worn it a couple of times. I think it's been in my weekly product pans before. But that is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? It has somewhat of a flip to it. So this is the blush. I find it funny that I went from a very natural, very nude blush to this shade. It's going to be fun. I don't know if it would go with today's look. I think the blush that I have on today looks very good with this look, but I'm glad I drew that because the only time I ever use these blushes is when I get them in my weekly product pan. So that's funny. That's funny. Okay, yeah, this is dried down to like, there's no tackiness to it. It's just kind of powdery feeling. So I'm, I'm excited to try that. Okay, so these two items for next week. Well, for this week, I'm excited to use them. Can you tell? That is all. That is all I have. Make sure you go check out Becky. Take good care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be safe, and I will see you on the next one.